Well, Altel's given us the option to now do a three axis compass calibration, but what is the third axis? How do you do it? That's what I'm here for. In today's video, I'm gonna go over from A to Z how to do a complete three axis compass calibration. Stick around. Hey, what's going on? It's Hobart. Welcome back to my channel. And just recently, we were given an update to our app and to our software on our Evo 2 and Evo 2 Pros that enabled a three axis compass calibration. Up until now, you've only had to do two axes, but along with the new IMU calibration that they've enabled for us to do, there is now a third axis when you're doing a compass calibration. But how do you do it? Well, I'm gonna go through the entire thing for you today to show you how to do it real quick. What this third axis is gonna do is it's gonna give the drone more information to try to help it while it's uh, up in the sky and prevent it from drifting while it's trying to hover. So that's pretty cool. That's a great addition. But what is this third axis? Let me go ahead and show you. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go into your Autel Explorer app. Once you open it up, make sure that your drone's all connected and everything's all on. Make sure you've got GPS signal. You're gonna go into the camera section. You're gonna click the settings in the upper right hand corner. And then you're gonna see compass calibration when you scroll down. Click on compass calibration. So you're gonna see starting calibration. Now, there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. Some people like to put their remote down and take their drone and spin it around in their hands and try to look at the uh, remote to try to see when you're supposed to switch positions. Myself, I like to hold my remote and I also like to hold my drone at the same time and just spin around. Some people say it looks funny, but I'm able to see my remote and I know when I'm supposed to switch to the next position. So let me go ahead and hit the start button, start calibration, and we'll get things started. And I'll show you the different axis, the third axis that they're now enabling and want us to do during calibration. So we'll click starting calibration. Now it says that I want to twist my drone like this, horizontal, and I'm gonna go around until it tells me to stop. Now, it would like me to point my drone to the ground, spin it around, and stop. Now, this is the new axis, very similar to the IMU. You're gonna put the drone on its side and spin around. And there you go, calibration success. So that's how you do the new three axis compass calibration on the Autel Evo and the Evo 2 Pro. First this way, then this way as we all know, and then you need to turn it to the side. So once again, I'm gonna do another compass calibration for you so you can see how it works. We'll exit out of here, go back into settings, compass calibration, we'll hit the start button. Some people would do it like this. Then you can put it like this. Now it's asking to go like this. To me, that's much harder than doing it the other way, but it's up to you. So those are the two different ways. The new third axis is to put the drone on its side. Same with the IMU calibration. You're gonna be doing the IMU calibration. I've got a video on that. You can go and check that one out. The new axis that everybody was getting confused on was when you turn it to the side like this, all right? So that's basically how you do the new three axis compass calibration on the Autel Evo and the Autel Evo 2 Pro. Once you're all done with that, of course you can exit out. And I appreciate you watching today. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you like what I'm doing and the like button and of course that bell so next time I put out a video, maybe a video that can help you out, you'll know that I'm putting it out and you'll be notified for it. So I appreciate it very much. My name is Hobart. Thanks and have a great rest of your day. See ya.